Welcome to the first two-minute global warming quiz. My name is Keith Strong and I'll be your quiz master for today. We're going to find out if you are a global warming genius or a global warming dunce. I suggest that you pause the video and get a piece of paper and a pen. Write the numbers 1 to 10 on the paper on separate lines so you can write your answers down as we go along. When you resume the video you will be given 10 rapid-fire questions. They take the form of a simple statement and then you will be asked whether you think the statement is true, false, or you don't know. If you think the statement is true, write a T next to the question number. If you think the statement is false, write an F. If you don't know the answer to the question, write a question mark. You will have about 10 seconds to answer each question. If that's too fast for you, pause the video at each question. There are no trick questions, so don't look for obscure meanings in them. They are simple and straightforward. Have fun. Good luck. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. 1. True or false, global warming was renamed climate change when it started losing its credibility. Two, true or false, despite carbon dioxide rising steadily, there has been no net rise in global temperatures since 1995. Three, true or false, there has been global cooling since 1998. Four, true or false? The Antarctic ice cap has gained more ice than it has lost in the last decade. Five, true or false? The recent rise in global temperatures coincides with an increase in solar activity. Six, true or false? The leading skeptical climatologists say global warming is a hoax and humans could have no effect on the Earth's climate. 7. True or false? Billions of dollars are spent annually by the US government on supporting climate data analysis and modeling. 8. Climate scientists are mostly supported by research grants from the government. Nine, true or false? Nearly 30% of climate researchers disagree with the anthropogenic global warming theory. Ten, true or false? The UN IPCC spends millions of dollars to fund scientists to do climate research. Congratulations, you've completed the quiz. Now let's see how well you did. This is how we score it. Count up the number of T's and F's in your answers. Give yourself 10 points for every T and take away 5 points for every F. For every question mark, give yourself 0 points. Now add up the total. The highest score possible is 100 points. The lowest score possible is minus 50 points. My next video will have the correct answers to the questions with explanations of those answers. I look forward to seeing you next time, but in the meantime, why don't you post your total score and any comments you might have in the comments section below. Thank you very much. Bye for now.